What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and this is going to be my how to's and tips and tricks for my store which just released today and it's going to help you progress faster and get onto the leaderboards in the game. So let's get started. Ten. So when you first play the game you're only going to have Bill, Dave and Henry unlocked here. Now buy Dave first and then Bill and then Henry because Dave works the cash registers and then Bill will refresh all the counters. So when you do this, you're basically already starting to AFK farm so you can leave your restaurant. I just said restaurant because you can leave your store over time and it'll just keep doing it and doing it over and over again. And that's just what you have to do to start the game. Just buy that first. You're going to start with 100 cash, buy the cash register auto fill these yourselves it won't take that long maybe like five minutes you'll get 100 cash again and then you can go here and buy a bill right away Nine. now after you buy these two make sure to buy the janitor henry uh he's a really good way to gain xp as you see here he's gonna be cleaning this which is a really good unique part of this game it's not like my restaurant in that way as you see here i'm about to gain three xp for that and when you first start the game that's going to be your best way of gaining xp just getting those like little ones at a time uh on my guy is uh he's level two so you know he's cleaning up he's cleaning up pretty fast but when you first start the game it's going to be a really good way of gaining xp so make sure to buy the janitor right away So when you go into the mall, you're going to see all these different furniture that you can buy. And this is the default one that you start with. You start with the cheap shelf. And then there's the cheap fridge here. Now what you can do is you can get the cheap, the modern, or the luxury. But you do need to spend Robux to get it if you see it buy here. Uh, so it's 200 Robux for it. I'm not sure if it's a game pass or something like that. Uh, I have no idea. But I wouldn't recommend doing that anyway. I would just recommend going to the fridge and just buy one of them. Because trust me, they're a lot more worth it in the long run. Even with the fridge, I wouldn't recommend going to modern or luxury. Maybe when you get to the last one, you could do it, but I just wouldn't recommend it until you get to, like, the max tier. Seven. Next, just maximize your space. Like, right here, as you see when you put something down, uh, let me go here, and you see this, it has a thing in between it. You could do this and maximize your space very easily. The reason I'm not going to do this is because I'm going to change the layout, so it just looks better right now. But doing this, you're maximizing the space you have in your store, and it doesn't matter. Customers can still come in between here, and they can buy from this shelf, or they can buy from this shelf. So if you want, you can fill your entire store up with shelves like this. I'm going to be showing you a method uh, later on in this video that you could do. But if you want to do this right now, you can. This works perfectly fine. Six. Next is just do these challenges. You see here, purchase one register, purchase three pieces of furniture. Now, and these give you XP and they give you money. As you see, you get $25 for doing this and you get $15 for doing this. So these will give you XP and money and then you obviously get money for that XP. So we can go to the plot and you can just buy like the cheapest ones here. You can just go here and just buy and then there you go now it's done now i'm on uh you know completed i've completed two of them so now i can do this one purchase any furniture and that's gonna be this and i can just buy one of these and then i got a little bit of xp and some money for doing it make sure to do those challenges because those will help you progress a lot you know a lot faster it's a lot like my restaurant you know if you've played that game then you definitely understand what i'm talking about Next is a feature that is very unique to this game. If you've played my restaurant, it is a little bit different. I actually really like this. And if you see my video yesterday, you already know what this is. But basically here, you can buy different customers for your store. And as you see, I just leveled up. I got 400 cash and, you know, all that. That's nice. But if you go here, you see, you can get... I've already unlocked Nicholas. We can get a Simo, Batsy Seed, Tay Master. You can get all of them and you can just get the max one. And then these give you multipliers. As you see here, this gives you 3.9 times more uh, money that the customers give. So go here and buy these. I definitely recommend this. I'm going to buy one right now. Let's see who I get. Uh, I'm not sure which one this is because they have a lot of block avatars. Okay, so I got Wonder Woman. So I got 1.47 multiplier on it. So now that's just going to over time just give you more and more money. And then obviously the, the higher ones you get, the better rewards that you're going to get. But definitely, even if you just, just start by this, like even as you buy this, it's the 51, the 200 one, the 400 one, the 800 one. Just buying this in the beginning, it's going to help you make more money. You know, it's just overall better for your store. You know, with multipliers, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Now, when you first enter your mall, there's going to be an upgrade thing right here. If you click this, you can combine certain things you have, and then you can get... I'm not sure this is the modern or the luxury one, but you can basically just combine it and then get one more. 
Uh, I would recommend doing this if you have a lot of extra ones and you don't want to spend Robux. You can just keep buying the this ones right here. Like I can just press buy. Let's see, I'm going to buy eight. So I can just do this. I think that's how much I need. Buy. I just spent all my money. and Okay, I actually bought way too much. But see, you can buy it combined here. And then now you have this. And then you can combine this to get a luxury one. So that's how it works. Definitely not worth it to do that much what I just did, especially since I just started the game. But I just wanted to show you guys what you could do. Uh, so now I can just go back to your plot. And then you can put it in here, just next to all these guys, which I really don't need right now. But, you know, it's all good. It was for the video, so go here, and then place, and put this right here. Perfect, and then now you have a modern one for free, not needing to spend Robux. But, yeah, make sure to combine it. It's really good as when you're progressing, and let's get into the next one. Now, for this next tip, I'm actually going to be deleting everything in here uh, so I can show this. But what you got to do here is take all the shelves that you have, and you can place them like this or like this. I wouldn't, it doesn't really matter. But I would recommend going like this and then placing them in front of each other just like this. I actually have three of those. So when you go here, let me get my shelf, and then I just go like this. And then they buy it, and then go and get your cash registers, and then just place these all around. And just like this, like that. And then you, this is why you're going to need a lot of cash registers for Because the more cash registers you have, the more customers that are going to enter your store. Let's go here. Put this like this. There you go. And I don't know how much more I have. But uh, let's just go here. Keep putting them all around. Okay, that's all the ones I have. I don't know where my uh, my modern one went. But oh well. Uh, actually, no, it's right here. All right. Keep doing this. And then you see here, you see how many more customers I have in my store. If you place all of these out and then put these in the middle, it's, this isn't a very good way of showing it. This is what I put down really quick. But if you have them closer to the door, you're obviously going to make more money because the customers spawn right here. They don't need to walk all the way over here or when you first start out all the way over here. And then going over here, they can just come here and then they cash out really easily. Really simple and just like that. All right, this guy is a pretty good example. This is just someone random from in my server. They put all their stuff in the middle here, and then they have a bunch of cash registers. And then I think they only put this here so the AIs don't walk over here. Uh, this is a pretty good layout. Something like this, like along the lines of this, is going to make you a lot of money. As you see, all the customers are there. I'm not sure if the AIs, like, they work differently because, like, I can't see the full movement. But something like this is really good to use. We're having in the middle, and I just got stuck. It's very nice. But, yeah. Just like this will make you a lot of money if you're just, you know, starting out, you know, once you're playing for a little bit. This is going to make you the most money. Just trust me, it will. Now, when you first enter the mall, if you go over here to the top left, there's going to be a bunch of, like, skins for uh, custom skins you can get for your store. Uh, there's one of them for 35 million. You know, they're pretty expensive. This one here is a Game Pass. But these actually do give multipliers. You see here, earn 5% more cash and 2 times more XP. These are really worth it, in my opinion. This one's 50,000. It's not too much. It gives 2 times more XP. That's huge. Uh, definitely get these, in my opinion. Like, these are probably top priority look at this this one's a game pass here but this gives three times more xp definitely get the skins it isn't like my restaurant where the skins are just for like cosmetics these actually do something and if you saw yesterday's video there is a youtuber one that's going to be right here uh i'm gonna see if i can get that i don't know if i reached the requirements but i'm gonna see and then i can show it to you guys but this right here just get it trust me 50k it's not that much obviously like just don't don't look at my money right now because that's awkward but just get this trust me it's gonna help you a lot now when you enter your mole again and you see the upgrades thing like i showed you before there's a staff upgrades thing and here you can just upgrade some you know certain features about your staff like you see henry here you can upgrade him a little bit upgrade him i'm just going to actually do all of these and then it increases the level actually i'm not sure if it increases the level per se but it makes them work better obviously you know pretty self-explanatory in your restaurant i keep saying restaurant you know what i mean store i see all the customers here i don't know oh it's because i don't have enough uh, staff to treat them but if you go here, just keep pressing E until you buy enough uh, cashiers. This is going to be the problem. But if you just keep spamming E like this and you don't like you don't want to auto farm like this is just, you know, keep doing this. And then there you go. You can AFK in the game once you get enough cashiers or you don't really need that many cashiers, but it's going to be really slow. But I am making already a lot more money doing this than I was when I had my layout all the way over here, which is pretty good. Definitely the best layout in the game. I don't know if this is going to get patched anytime soon with like the no clipping through builds. Uh, I keep saying builds, but you know, the, the collectors. Uh, I'm not sure this is going to get patched. I don't see why it will because it never did in my restaurant. But this is a completely different game with completely different developers, so you never know. A little bonus tip for you guys is if you press settings right here, 
and you see codes i don't think there's any codes in right now and i did not mean to just do that but if there i don't think there's any codes in right now but on twitter they will release codes that you can put in there and assuming you can get some cash some free xp maybe there'll be like limited time in what's it called i keep forgetting the name of these but uh, shelves that you can put in your store that'd be pretty cool but just a little tip if you press settings and come down here from any of these guys twitters like i said right now i'm pretty sure there is no codes available but you know they could show up or it could be wrong also for this game that's only been released i think three or four hours now i'm surprised how much of a high level people are i know some people like kincaid like they're beta testers like i had the uh, beta tester last night but i didn't really grind it because my data kept getting reset but now the game is officially released and we can grind the leaderboards. I'm probably going to be grinding. I don't know about you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you do find these tips helpful. If you use these tips and tricks, you're definitely going to be progressing a lot faster in this game. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.